Good morning. Levy stole my sleeping bag. Stole my entire bed around me. So I was forced to get up. Welcome back to the channel, it's day number 404 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the town of Goshen in California in the USA and we just left the camp really early this morning and just went and filled up fuel. It's only 20 past 7 which yes. for us is like a new record I think on the bike but it was a pretty comfortable night camping there. We can't afford to take rooms in the USA because here in this town they're starting at like $60 a night for a room even in like the cheapest room in town. So pretty much campsites are going to be the only way that we can get a cheap night here in the US. This campsite was part of I think the campgrounds of America. So it was $42 for the night. Yes, but we looked on Iowa Lander and there were no good suggestions for wild camping spots around this area here. And it got really late and dark yesterday already, so... Yeah, we spent a little bit too much time riding around the streets of Hollywood being like, oh, I wonder who lives there, oh, I wonder who lives there. Now, we are only 60 miles from our next destination, which is the giant sequoia forest. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here, and today we're gonna be heading over to the Kings Canyon National Park before returning down to Bakersfield, cutting across the mountains and over to Death Valley. Now normally we would have visited the Sequoia National Forest, which houses the largest tree in the world, the giant General Sherman Sequoia tree. But this park is closed because winter storms have basically ruined all the roads in the park. We checked online. But it did say if you want to see giant sequoias, head to the Kings Canyon National Park, which is just up from Sequoia National Park. And there they have the second largest tree in the world, the General Grant tree. We should still be able to see some absolute absolutely massive trees today. I can't wait to see them. And after doing a loop through the Sequoia Forest, we'll be heading back down to, I think, Bakersville, where we're gonna be making our way to Death Valley. Our aim is to reach Las Vegas tomorrow night, because my parents and my brother and my sister are flying in to meet us. And then two days later, we're getting married <laughs> by Elvis. <laughs> Yes, we have some super exciting days ahead, but first things first, we will have to reach the largest tree or the second largest tree in the world. It's 1 hour 20 to reach there and it's 7.20, so better hit the road, let's go. It's crazy the layout of the roads here. It's basically just one giant grid. So you just go straight, 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 straight for 10 miles and then take a left and then go straight on that road for 10 miles. And this whole area is just filled with farmland. So there's wine growing here, grapes. You've got, I think, mandarins or oranges. We've seen cherries, we've seen wheat. So we just stopped on the side of the road to uh, have a bite to eat because we didn't have breakfast yet. And I put the bike on the side stand, but I guess our bags were too heavy and the, the hill was a bit too much and it actually fell over the side stand and fell over. That's really unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time I've ever put it on the side stand and it wouldn't hold it. 
We've got loads of weight on the bike at the moment with all of our full stuff. So we're going to have to take a couple of bits off before we pick it up. <laughs> you guys okay? I was driving this way and I saw you guys tipping over. Yeah. And I'm on my way to work. I work at the BMW shop in, uh, okay. in Fresno there. And, uh, and I just thought I'd come make sure you guys were okay. Well, it would be great if you could help us lift it back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. It, we actually put it on the side stand, yeah. but it actually fell over the side yeah, stand. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, thanks so much. Okay, be careful guys. <laughs> thank right, you, yeah, thank no you. Problem, enjoy. <laughs> yeah, broken. Okay. Where we welded it, it's kind of still on at the moment, but it's definitely got a crack again in it. So I think I'll just have to see if it will stay like that. I don't know if we can get another piece like this. We can see if there's a Suzuki parts store in Vegas. Yeah. Because if we can get a new piece, mm -hmm. it's quite easy to change it out. Yeah. We'll have to see if we can ride it like that. Yeah. I mean, it's even stuck around here. I guess that weld just couldn't take the pressure of the bike sitting on top of it. At least it's still attached for now, because I know that he welded some bits on the back as well. So maybe that'll hold. Okay. We'll see how it goes. And I was wondering if you guys had it and or, or if you could order it for me. Okay, so let me get you over to the parts department. Give me one moment, please. All right, all right thank you. We're just calling a place in Las Vegas to see if they've got the foot pedal for us. Part number is 43521. Yeah, front left foot bracket, yep. I do not know. Okay, do you know how long it would take to, to get it in? Um, it would come from California, so it would get ordered today. You think by Friday, like by Friday evening, you'd have it? I can't guarantee it should be Okay, we can order that in and then come and pick it up when it gets in, gets in store. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, I'm up right again. There's always something. Yeah, I can't believe it. I just like, it's the first time it's ever fallen over the kickstand whilst it was down. Yeah. The first time. Yeah, for some reason we thought like, it can't do this type of thing, hey? To be fair, we are very, very overloaded at the moment. With yeah. A, with like a lot of water. Ugh, the only issue is that the foot pedal is, is kind of bent forward. So I've got a lot less room to get my foot under the gear yeah. lever. I mean, it's better than if the foot pedal was off. Okay. But yeah, I don't know how long that foot pedal is going to stay on there, to be honest. No. So it's a little bit of a downer at the moment this morning, but hopefully when we go and see some giant sequoias, it's going to lift our spirits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're starting to climb now. We're getting into the mountains. Yeah, it's a really, really impressive area here. Yeah, we even saw some snowy mountains up in the background. I'm hoping we don't go up as high as that. I don't really want to ride in the snow, but it's beautiful to see. Okay, so we did actually reach the snow line in the end. We are in winter wonderland. <laughs> yeah, I did not realize that we'd be climbing up to have snow next to us on the road. That's insane. That is insane, actually. Look at wow. That. Wow. It is a winter wonderland. And as you can see, we're already surrounded by sequoia trees, giant sequoias, which is absolutely awesome. I mean, it's just so spectacular here. But we yeah. got a few more miles to ride. Oh, I say that. No, we're here, right at the entrance. <laughs> wow. I did not realize that we'd be here on snow. Wow. How magical, eh? Look how big this tree there is. Yeah, and that one looks like it's had a fire or been struck by lightning because it's actually completely hollow. They can get really, really big. Really big. The largest tree in the world. Wow. Is, is a giant sequoia. <laughs> how impressive, eh? Oh, look at my breath. <sighs> well, it's currently eight degrees, so it's not freezing cold, 
but it's not warm. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you guys? Good. Good. We were wondering if we were able to buy like a multi-pass entry to national parks all over the country. Yeah, it's possible. Okay. Okay. And it'll get you into every national park in the state, and it's just eighty dollars. Okay. okay. But we still have to pay twice eighty dollars, or just once. No, so you just pay once. How oh, cool! and then you both sign it uh -huh. and then you can each use it on your own really oh that's really cool even together that's oh, cool that's nice oh, that's awesome yeah thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much good let me see if i can get up right okay. okay just about careful with the foot pedal yep okay okay thank you Ciao. That's so cool. That means we can just go in and out of any national park in the country and we don't have to pay any extra. Yeah, it's actually a really good price as well. I'm happy about that. I mean, I remember the times in Chile where we had to pay for every single national park at least like 30 US dollar. Yeah. And something like this adds up quite quite Absolutely. to a big amount if you want to visit a lot of national parks and you are interested in nature but wow this area here is beautiful you can see the remains of some giant sequoias as well that have fallen down but where we're going is called grants grove and there they get even bigger and that's where the second largest tree in the entire world stands <laughs> Wow, so we're coming into Giant's Grove now and I can tell you there are some absolutely massive trees. Oh my God, look at this one. Wow, absolutely wow. Cool, that's magical. So we're just gonna head on this trail ahead. It's called the Grant Tree Trail and halfway around is the second largest tree in the world. And we're wearing our nice Gobi Desert beanie hats donated from Doug. <laughs> <laughs> it's so soft, it's so nice. Thanks, Doug. Wow, it's already so absolutely massive. That's wow. crazy. <laughs> Here in front of us is a tree called the Fallen Monarch. This tree must have fallen down hundreds of years ago. It says here on the sign that the trees can resist decay and last for even thousands of years. Even after they've died, they can just remain here on the forest floor. It's unbelievable. And they've got a picture of the Fallen Monarch from 1900. Look at this. It looks nearly the same as it did over a hundred years ago. <laughs> so you can actually walk through that fallen tree, but uh, we're gonna come back for that because at the moment the <laughs> entire school is going through it. It was really crowded. <laughs> yeah. So the Kings Canyon National Park was established in 1890, but it wasn't originally called the Kings Canyon National Park. It was called the General Grant National Park in honor of the General Grant tree, which we're gonna see very soon. It was renamed Kings Canyon National Park in 1940, and that's named after a huge canyon which is in this park, and I think it's more than a mile deep. And of course, has one of the largest stands of giant sequoia in the world. So the national park is actually 
uh, joining onto the back of the Sequoia National Park. And this national park is 186,000 hectares. Really, really big. <laughs> well, the trees are so big, they need a lot of space. Look how high the snow level is here. It goes to my knees. It's so much snow. <laughs> and they've got this cabin here. Look at the snow at the very top of the cabin. It's insane. I can't believe the whole thing doesn't collapse. Apparently this was built in 1872 and it's still standing now, even after like years and years and years of snow on it. Here it is star of the show this tree behind me it's hard to get it all in shot <laughs> this is the general grant tree and this tree is the second largest tree in the world it actually used to be the third largest tree but then a lightning strike and then fires actually killed the second largest tree so then this one became the second largest tree you can actually see here huge scar from fires but survived look at that that's insane so some facts about this tree general grant it is 82.5 meters high and 32.8 meters circumference at the base so the total volume is 1320 square meters so that's what makes it the second largest tree. It's actually the volume that the tree is. This has been dubbed the nation's Christmas tree. And it was actually named in 1867 to honor Ulysses S. Grant. But the craziest thing about this is it's actually 3000 years old, so old. It's so big and it's still here standing after all these years. I mean, this tree was like growing as a sapling when the Egyptians were building their pyramids. The scale of the age of this tree is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, it's a really special place and I'm just so happy that we have the chance to come here and see it with our own eyes, the second largest tree in the world. <laughs> Okay, so we're back at the Fallen Monarch and now that the, all the kids have gone through, <laughs> we can make our way through this tree. Oh. That's incredible. We are inside a tree. And it's absolutely massive. Look, there's a hole in it. Well, wow, that must have been one crazy impressive tree when it was standing. But that's the crazy thing about this forest here is that actually all of the biggest, the tallest sequoias, they've all been cut down. So in the early days, people like on the east coast of America didn't believe that they had such crazy massive trees here. So what did they do? They cut the trees up and they shipped them across all the way to like the East Coast. So there was like an exhibition in Philadelphia where they, they cut a tree and they brought it all the way across. And the people in Philadelphia called it the California hoax. They didn't even believe that it was a real tree. They basically thought that they had kind of pieced other trees together to create it. So they cut down some crazy big trees for basically no reason. <laughs> other than show other people how big trees they used to have before they cut them down. Luckily these days we have our phones, we can take some pictures. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look, there's four massive ones all right next to each other. The little sequoia family. I'm just so impressed with the scale of this grove here. It's absolutely insane. They are massive, absolutely massive and beautiful trees. Absolutely beautiful trees. So now it's time to leave this winter wonderland behind because we're heading to the desert and we're going from snow to one of the hottest places on earth. We're heading to Death Valley. So I reckon although it's only eight degrees up here, I think uh, by the end of today, we are gonna be sweating.
Imagine this scenario. You're traveling in a foreign country, exploring the wonders of the world, but then all of a sudden you get sick. Panic sets in. You want to talk to a real doctor, but you don't speak the local language. What do you do? Well, let us tell you about this video sponsor, On Vacation Doctor. The On Vacation Doctor app connects you to English speaking doctors in any country in the entire world. You just need to add your location and the app will give you the name, the phone number and the location of the nearest English speaking doctor to you. It also has local fire, ambulance and police numbers as well as the US Embassy contact. This app is absolutely free to use for the first six months and then only $4.99 for the next six months. So super helpful and super affordable. So show your support for our very first sponsor by downloading the app for free today by clicking the link in the description below. Stay healthy, travel safe and now back to the video. Ah, uh, oh. It's off now. It's not really very, very on anymore. I mean, I've still got my foot resting on it, but that's really close to being yeah off now yeah it's gonna fall very quickly just yeah look at this shop it really looks like something straight out of the 1850s look at this it's a uh, it's not as rustic on the inside <laughs> hey it's called Squaw Valley Indian Trading Center. And that's for real. This was an Indian trading center initially. Uh, that's what it was here? Yes, oh, no way. And they'd have their our powwows and their gatherings and all that. Wow, and this was the trading post? Yes, same spot. It's in the same spot? Oh, that's so cool. Awesome. We've got service back, so we have routed our way to Las Vegas through Death Valley. And it said it was about nine hours. So to make a nice, easy five hour ride tomorrow, we've decided we're gonna try and get four hours in this afternoon. We've got a really nice hotel that my parents have booked for us in Las Vegas, the Mirage. So we really wanna get there as early as we can. So <laughs> we're gonna do a few more hours today so that tomorrow should be quite an easy day. So we looked on iOverlander and found that there's actually a really cool little campsite which is exactly four hours away from us and it's like an honesty box that you pay six dollars to camp so it's a really good price actually six dollars compared to 42 last night. So just hope that the foot pedal will stay on for the next nine hours yeah and then it can fall off. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Whoa. Welcome, welcome to my hometown. Thank you. So you're born here? Not too far. Oh, not too far. Yeah. Nice, yeah, but, nice. Yeah, it's really nice meeting you. It's so worth to stop and talk to you <laughs> and get my blood going. Up. I gotta go get my motorcycle off my battery tender. Yeah, you gotta get out and ride it. Well, I'll be doing a camping trip. My wife doesn't ride. It's my therapy and it's like, oh, the song's in it. I yeah. do think I know how to sing in my helmet or just pesticides. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice to meet you, Gary. Yeah. The young lions, I'll tell you. <laughs> so we just stopped here on the side of the road having a early dinner break because we're really really hungry we have about two hours left to the camp but ollie's leg is pretty painful because he can't rest his foot anymore <laughs> on the foot pad i can let it rest uh, a little bit but i can't put too much pressure on it so yeah it's a little bit tough riding but it's okay the foot pedal still hasn't fallen off so i'm pretty happy about that yes me too so we're just having some refried beans with some cheese and crackers. Everything donated by Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> we love Michelle. we love you. <laughs> but I've only got this uh, little little can opener, so I'm kind of working my way around. Beanie. I love beans. But anyway, we can really take our time because we have just two hours left. We know where we're gonna uh, camp tonight, and it's just half past four at the moment, so we can chill out a little bit. 
England, England. and Germany. Okay, let's go. Uh, nice to uh, meet you. you. You guys okay? What are you guys doing? Where the fuck over here? Uh, oh, just to have <laughs> oh, a snack. Oh, you got a camera and shit. Having a snack. <laughs> Yo, you didn't put nothing on TV, right? No. No, no, no except worry. you want to. Don't get whacked. You know what I mean? Yeah. We should turn off the camera. So we actually moved on quite quickly. We had just like two crackers each because there was one guy coming and he started talking to us and then he was like saying like oh that he's actually a gangster and that uh, he doesn't want to be filmed and he saw the camera and he was a little bit paranoid. Yeah, so he kind of said that if he's filmed then he's going to get whacked or something. So yeah. I was just a bit like okay, <laughs> I think that's our cue to leave. Yes, so we packed our stuff and we were just like let's leave, leave for now. Looks like we're just about to head back up into the hills. We're basically heading up and over a bunch of mountains now. Yes, and then on the other side, it should be desert. Back to the desert, baby. Whoa, that is one crazy river down there. It must be all the meltwater from the mountains. Incredible. Look at these canyons around. That's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. absolutely spectacular here this is the crazy thing about doing this trip around the world we start in the morning with oh our foot pedals broken everything's terrible how can we even continue but then this is where we are in the afternoon you know in the morning up in the sequoia forest in the snow with the largest trees in the world and in the afternoon in this beautiful crazy place look at this wow this is just the best this is yeah. just the best this trip has its surprises, both good and bad, but this is a good one. This is a good one. We're just coming past the absolutely beautiful Lake Isabella. Look at this, just surrounded by mountains yeah it's really pretty and this is all part of the sequoia national forest which is directly joined and part of the same grand national park that we were in this morning so all the way from where we started the day to where we are now is just a huge 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 area of national park and that's just absolutely amazing to see so much wild space funny plant here on the side of the road I think it's a type of cactus yeah I don't know if it's a cactus or like a spiny tree or something but yeah there's tons of them here and suddenly we got over the hill and it's like I'm gonna go here this is where I like it yeah okay 
Oh look, entering California Desert Conservation Area. Oh, okay. And we are officially coming into the desert. But man, is this a beautiful ride. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, we're turning off to the campground and the sun has just gone behind the mountains. Yeah. So we've got about half an hour to set up camp before it gets dark. But what a nice area to camp in. This is crazy. This is a crazy place to camp. Look at this yeah. landscape around. It's incredible. Oh my goodness. Fossil Falls Campground is the name. Oh Oops. look, it looks quite busy. Oh. There are people all over. There you go. That's awesome. So I guess you just kind of set yourself up anywhere. Yeah. Oh cool. It's cool. It looks pretty sandy over on that side. Oh no. It must be an old, old volcanic lava field. Incredible. Okay, so I've got to be quite careful then because it would <laughs> definitely be sandy. Yeah. Oh, cool. This is so cool here. Wow. wow that's incredible. No yeah, way. I mean, we could just set up here, no? Yeah, what, like right at the front? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, I, I'm in a ditch. Hold on. Yeah, I don't want to make like a big thing out of it because of our foot pedal. I really don't want it to break off. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay. Yeah, no, anyway, look, we've got the Trail Max Mission tires on the bike now. <laughs> we have nothing to worry about. Yeah, no problem. Oh, that looks really rocky, Ollie. Oh, maybe it is getting too rocky, actually, hey? I don't think that this here is still start part of the park, actually. Okay, better stop and turn around. Oh, no, 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 Okay, three, two, one, go! Three, two, one, go! Yeah, if I did this on my own, I'd fall. Okay. Okay. I think we're okay here, eh? Yeah, I think so too, just oh, there. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, perfect. We just get past this rocky bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I didn't fall, hey? I was close, but no cigar. Whew. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. There's like the most mega setup in the world. And then there's like us with our super old tent. This is fine. Look, if we pitch up the tent here, yeah. right behind this wall, there's absolutely no wind. It's perfect. guys we made it happy to live we've got the camp set up behind us bumblebee is just chilling having a rest and it's time for us to have a rest but look at this beautiful surroundings mountains 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 it's just absolutely amazing here what a camping spot yeah i was waiting for this kind of camping spots for a long time just like sort of in the nature yeah. and everyone has like their little spot here we have like neighbors i feel like a community here <laughs> yeah just like an open area where people can legally camp you know we've got like all of these lava rocks around us to give us shelter we've got our own picnic table our own little campfire i really appreciate places like this yeah thank you usa what have we got for dinner it's really windy today so I hope we can boil up some water because we will have miso ramen tonight. I love it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. We will see you next time.